The winter time is truly one of the times of the year to be alive, with tons of snowflakes, unexpected cold fronts, and also chilly weather and unexpected warm weather. The winter is truly something else, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you which chicken breeds are going to help suit you best for this type of weather. I did hours of research and analysis to come to conclusion with all my chickens as well, as they all are cold hardy breeds, so expect a lot of different breeds of chickens in this video. Let's begin. And of course, this would not be a video on the channel without talking about Buff Orpingtons in one way or another. You see, they're just too cool chickens to not talk about them, man. You know, you gotta talk about those Buff Orpingtons. Like, I could be talking about gardening and somehow bring Buff Orpingtons into the mixture in some weird way. So why are Buff Orpingtons so cool? Because they are multi-purpose chickens. They can be cold hardy, they can lay tons of eggs, and they're also very friendly. They're good for a lot of environments, and they can also be raised for meat chickens as well, which is why I'd always recommend these chickens as a beginner. They're not too hard to raise, and they'll help you out along the way as well, and they'll also offer emotional support, because those chickens for some reason have built-in emotional support features with them, I don't know. Now some of you guys don't know what a coaching chicken is, and allow me to explain them to you really quickly. They're typically a couple dollars, you know, you probably find them for around six to twelve dollars, so they're a little bit more on the pricier side of things, but they can definitely be pretty affordable if you're only getting a couple of them. They lay only 150 to 200 eggs a year, which is sufficiently lower than some of the bigger breeds and that are going to be preceding these chickens, and of course we need to talk about their reliability, which of course is pretty high, and... Yeah, they're, they're pretty puffy chickens if you've seen them before, and they're also pretty big chickens, so that's why they're dual-purpose breeds, of course, because, you know, we've got to include those, you know, dual-purpose chicken breeds if we want this video to be quite the entertaining one, to be exact. Now, of course, it's time to talk Easter Eggers. These chickens are, of course, cold hardy. As you can tell, they're very, you know, filled to the brim with feathers. They have feathers just about every single inch of their body because they're specifically built for the winter. They're specifically built to sustain the wintry months of the north or the south even. These chickens are 100% built for these type of weather conditions. And on top of that, they lay the blue eggs. So not only do you get the benefit of them being able to survive the winter without dropping dead, in sub cold conditions i'm talking about like you know not sub cold sub zero they can survive sub zero for a little bit just not a whole lot of time so don't leave them out in the sub zero temperatures for too long but i mean they can go out if they want to easter eggers are typically not really as brave as the others unfortunately but i'll tell you one thing about these easter eggers is that you know you get the blue eggs you get the friendliness benefit and not only that but these chickens are just some of the greatest chickens i think i've ever seen before so i'd just recommend them for you man just Get yourself some Easter Eggers if you haven't already, they're just that cool. Now everybody knows of the Rhode Island Dread that I'm speaking of right now, but just about everybody should know what it is. If you don't know, it's the breed that you get the brown eggs from. Now obviously there's the Leghorn, which you get the white ones from. They're not going to be featured in this video, because there's one other breed of chicken I want to talk about really badly in this video, but I will say, these chickens are just as cold hardy as the other ones, so I just figured I'd bring them up briefly before I start talking about Rhode Island Reds. Obviously, they give the benefit of laying eggs every day. They're genetically modified, some of them, to lay more eggs than others, which unfortunately does mean they'll drop dead early on, but of course, there is an alternative. That one's also the Black Australorp, which do the same things, just as cold hardy, and are maybe even better and live for a lot longer. Now, these chickens obviously lay a lot more eggs than them, but the unfortunate part is that they're a little bit less flighty, although they are the icon of chickens. Like, you think of the Rhode Island Dread when you get the chickens. You don't just look at a chicken and think, oh, it's just a chicken. You think it's a Rhode Island Dread for some people. They're the most iconic chicken breed of the entire industry for more than one reason as well. Now, this wouldn't be an ordinary video on the channel without talking about Bard Rocks either, because the Bard Rock chickens are just simply that cool. They're th just one of the greatest chicken breeds you could possibly buy, or basically some of the best chicken breed that money can possibly buy as well. They make great pets, and they're very, very tame. Although they're a little bit more on the competitive side, as I bring up in a lot of my reviews, they do typically care about the order more than an Easter egg or, or a buff could ever care about. Some Easter Eggers, however, do care about the order that the chickens lie within, but the Bard Rocks are usually the most serious about it. And when one Bard Rock falls, the other one steps up 
and takes its position because the barred rock is just that serious in terms of the order that all the chickens fall under. Now the barred rock is also very very popular for a lot of the wrong reasons. A lot of people give them the bad spotlight because of how quote unquote mean and miserable chickens are. No, they're not that bad. They lay a lot of eggs. They're very friendly if you get to know them. And they also handle the cold really, really well. That's why I put them on this list as well, because they just handle the cold very, very exceptionally well. Well, be sure to comment the number 525 if you made it this far. I'm so sorry I have to cut this video short. I have a lot to do tonight, and I just figured I'd say that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to click the playlist on the screen if you really enjoyed this video. That'll tell me that, like, you know, it was something you definitely enjoyed. So, it's a whole playlist with videos just like this. There's, like, 18 of them, so trust me, just click on it, man. It's, it's, wor it's worth it.